Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tanushree and in this video, I'm going to talk about CSIR Net Life Sciences Unit 8, that is Inheritance Biology, Important Topics and Reference Books. Unit 8 of CSIR Net Life Sciences is all about genetics. It is an important and scoring unit as it carries a weightage of minimum 25 marks. Thus, it's a big risk to skip this unit. In fact, you don't need to, as we all have more or less some idea about basic genetics from a plus two level. It is a conceptual unit and not a theoretical unit, like unit five or nine of CSIR Net Life Sciences exam. This unit requires deep understanding of concepts and even you will find connections and extensions with other CSIR Net units as well like Unit 2, 3, 12, and 13. Questions expected are statement-based, numerical-based, and figure-based. Part C questions can be direct or can be asked in combination with other units as well. Now let's have a look at the syllabus. This unit comprises of 11 subunits, as you can see it on your screen. Although this unit contains short topics, which does not require much of your time to prepare individually, but can be quite confusing as you have myriad of short topics. Although the unit appears vast, but don't worry. I have categorized the topics from this unit into most important, medium important and least important, which will help you plan your study starting from most important to least important topic. So let's have a look at the subunits now. Subunit A is about Mendelian principles and is one of the most important subunit from this unit. It is the second most important subunit after subunit D, that is gene mapping methods. This subunit is all about basics. Here you study about basic terms like homozygous, heterozygous, Dominant allele, recessive allele, phenotype, genotype and many more. Also you study about Mendel's experiments, concept of dominance, principle of segregation, principle of independent assortment and probability rules. So this subunit covers most important topics from where questions are frequently asked especially Mendelian mono and dihybrid cross phenotypic and genotypic ratios in combinations with probability based questions are important from this subunit. Both statement based and numerical based questions are expected from this particular subunit. Subunit B is about concept of gene. Here you study concept of allele, multiple allele, pseudo allele and complementation tests which is an important topic from this particular subunit. Questions based on complementation test or group are asked in which experimental results are given in tabular form and you have to find out how many genes are defined by certain number of mutations or whether mutant strains carry mutations in the same gene or different gene. Even direct questions or probability based questions on particular blood group inheritance in progeny can also be asked from this subunit. Coming to subunit C, which is about extensions of Mendelian principles. Here you study terms like codominance, incomplete dominance, epistasis, genomic imprinting, phenocopy, penetrance and expressivity, sex limited, sex influence characters and many more. Direct questions on any particular term, usually in part B, or in combination with other topics like pedigree analysis are asked from here. Now let's know about subunit D, gene mapping methods. Very, very important subunit from this unit. You can see this subunit covers most important topics. You may expect questions on gene order, recombination frequency, coefficient of coincidence and interference. Statement-based, 
numerical based or combination based questions are expected from linkage maps even questions can be asked from tetrad analysis that is ordered and unordered tetrad analysis usually numerical based questions are expected statement and figure based questions on physical and genetic maps can also be asked sometimes questions can be asked on deletion mapping and somatic cell hybridization as well even molecular marker topic is important from this particular subunit molecular markers you study in other units as well like from unit 12 you study molecular markers in marker assisted selection topic and in unit 13 you study about rflp aflp rapd molecular markers and more therefore you can expect combination based question from this topic with other units like unit 13 as well unit e that is about extra chromosomal inheritance is an easy subunit in comparison to other subunits from unit 8 here you study about maternal inheritance maternal effect cytoplasmic male sterility now from this particular subunit only examples are important you need to focus on the examples of maternal inheritance maternal effect so if you want you can skip this particular subunit as you can see this particular subunit covers topic which are least important along with subunit d that is gene mapping method subunit f microbial mapping is equally important in subunit f that is microbial genetics you study about methods of genetic transfer that is transformation conjugation transduction and specially sex duction and mapping genes by interrupted gene mating is the most important topic from this particular subunit now let's know about subunit g which is about human genetics from here pedigree analysis is a very important topic you can expect part b or part c question on pedigree analysis numerical questions are expected on lot score even genetic disorder topic is of medium importance chromosomal abnormalities that lead to diseases in humans include turnell syndrome klinefelter syndrome edwards syndrome down syndrome and many more so you study about these syndromes here in genetic disorders and karyotype topic is of least importance from this particular subunit now let's have a look at subunit h which is about quantitative genetics i would have asked you to skip this particular subunit but if we see the trend if we look at the past 3 to 4 previous year question papers of csr net you will find that questions are asked from here especially numerical questions on measuring heritability or heritable variations are expected from this particular subunit and even qtl mapping that is quantitative trait loci mapping you study in unit 12 as well so if you are preparing this topic in unit 12 you can skip it from here now let's have a look at subunit i that is about mutation and it is the third most important subunit of this unit from this particular subunit mutational studies based questions are expected especially on reverse mutation analysis even identification of type of mutation from messenger rna or amino acid sequence or consequence of mutation based questions are expected from this particular subunit even dna damage and about mutations you study in unit 3 so dna damage and mutation topic is common with unit 3 as well so if you are preparing this topic in unit 3 you can skip it from here then subunit j is about structural and numerical alterations of chromosomes so here you study about deletion duplication inversion translocation aneuploidy polyploidy and specially from this particular subunit questions on peri centric or para centric inversion 
is most frequently asked. Lastly, coming to subunit K, which is about recombination. From this particular subunit, transposons is the most important topic, which you also study in Unit 2. Even homologous and non-homologous recombination, uh, that is uh, site-specific recombination and homologous recombination, you study in Unit 3 as well. So, you can skip this part from here if you are preparing this topic in Unit 3. So, if you are preparing these topics from Unit 2 and Unit 3, you can skip this subunit from Unit 8. Now, let's have a look at the standard books that you can refer for Unit 8. You can refer iGenetics, A Molecular Approach by Peter Russell, Principle of Genetics by Snustard and Simmons, Genetics, A Conceptual Approach by Benjamin Apers, Genetics from Genes to Genomes by Hartwell, Michelle, and Fisher and also you can refer genes by Benjamin Lewin. Kindly note, you can refer the standard books to cover the topic in details and to solve questions given at the end of the chapter in these books. Make sure you refer to the latest version of these books. So this is all about Unit 8, that is Inheritance Biology, Important Topics and Reference Books. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.